Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to Dumb SEO Questions, episode 364. Uh, each week we meet here to answer the uh, questions asked uh, um, on the Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. Um, with us tonight, we have David Rosam. David is a leading internet marketer. He's based in West Sussex uh, on the sunny south of England. Um, whereas Micah Fisher Kirshner, he's on the opposite side of the world. He's based uh, in um, um, Silicon, well, almost Silicon Valley. Um, He's um, CEO of, of, of the uh, an SEO meetup group uh, in in uh, that area. I'm, I'm really doing that badly, aren't I, Micah? But I'll try and remember next week. And uh, Micah is also uh, uh, head of SEO for Turn River Capital in the United States. Tim Kappa is CEO of OnlineOwnership.com. Um, he's uh, also a Google product expert in the uh, Google My Business uh, community. And Masataki Wasa is, is webmaster of, or Tim is based in um, uh, Corby, about 100 miles north of London. Um, and Masataki Wasa is in Wimbledon in, in uh, London. He's also a Google uh, top contributor on the uh, um, AdSense uh, community. All right, we have nine questions tonight, and let's have a look at the first one. Um, this uh, is um, from Andrew Merritt. It's uh, titled, Please Point Me in the Right Direction. I've got a feeling we, we, we've done this one. I'm not sure. Okay, uh, he said my site currently has a, a DA and a domain authority and page authority score of zero. Um, I have had some traffic, speed is optimized, site is indexed, zero Google errors and have Yoast running. Could someone please point me in the right direction? The, the website URL uh, is HTTPS. Uh, uh, for colon slash slash dub 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 dot lin lin's natural treats dot com dot au. All right. Well, so help on what? What? <laughs> there's literally I mean, four, there's literally four and... products to the site. I had a look at four it. Four products or four pages? Four, four products. Um, well, I mean, yeah, yeah, I, you know, is the site brand new, you know, uh, DA and PA is not something I would worry about offhand. Um, they're not factors, but in terms of just understanding the site, you know, again, if you're new, you haven't gotten any, uh, information for other tools to pick up about about your your site so that's kind of step one is just you know focus a bit more on your actual site especially if you only got a limited number of pages um and there's a whole market out there um yeah i mean go ahead tim you're yeah um i i would say with this kind of thing now you just want to be hitting content you want to, you know, people don't wake up and go, oh, I want a natural treat from a dog. To, you know, people don't gravitate towards that. They think treats for dogs. They start researching and they start looking at things and they start figuring out that why they actually want to go down the natural treat direction. So with this, I think you want to go with content. And I... Uh, I I think I posted a whole, you know, different little range of things, but that's where you want to go. You know, um, why are natural treats better for dogs? Uh, what's the difference between natural treats and a regular treat? You know, um, you know, you, you want to start educating people. Dogs 
cats, llamas, penguins, they're all pets and people love their pets and they want to get involved with learning about it and the decision making on what they feel is best for them. And information is going to be your, your content is going to be your friend with this kind of site. Um, so, you know, answering questions, uh, even video, um, but really just, you know, that's, I think content is going to be your winner here. Start targeting pretty much all potential possible questions around natural treats and, and it doesn't necessarily have to be, you can start comparing, you know, different types of treats in terms of why is, why is a natural better to this? Yeah. I think you had, I think you had beef. I can't remember. You had beefs and another two varieties, you know, what, 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 what cuts do you use? Like how, how is it made? Um, the, the whole thing. People want to get involved with that decision, you know. Um, so content, I think, is going to be your winning winning friend here. Thank you, Tim. All right. Yeah, I'll... Uh, by the way, somebody, uh, this Mason Pelt, uh, said um, get links. Uh, I mean, links uh, aren't... Uh, um, the be all and end all of everything, and really, he should be doing lots more before he starts trying to develop uh, some good, uh, solid links. But also, quality, not quantity. Micah is leaving us. Um, thank you, mate, for, for joining us, and uh, I wish you all the best for all the rest of the week. Um, thank you. Yeah. Don't die on us, will you, mate? Uh, that, <laughs> well, I'll do what I can. Okay, buddy. All right. There. Cheers. All right, number two on our run list. Um, it's from Milos Pork Pork Paulus, uh, and Milos uh, said, uh, um, "It's titled How to Create Site Links on Search Engine Result Pages." He said, I guess it's a kind of a noob question, but how to ed ed edit the website search engine results page uh, so that it looks like that. Um, instead of each line separate, um, there is uh, a home page and underneath other pages. Uh, any help will be appreciated. This is, um, uh, I'll, I'll save our panel uh, the trouble on this one. Uh, this, it, 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 there's nothing you can do to, to influence uh, um, site links. Um, they're um, left, um, um, you just leave Googlebot to its own devices and if, if you're good enough and if your pages are uh, properly set out and so on, um, they will automatically appear. Um, anybody want to, to add more to that? Okay, let's go to our third one on our run list. Um, this one from Shao Chi Lo, uh, how to make product markup up to date. Uh, Shao said, hi everyone. Recently I am working with my e-commerce client and realized that their price, um, aggregated rating, etc., etc., changes constantly. If I generate JSON-LD markup for them, the structured data won't be accurate um, anymore once they change their information on the page. Um, how do I make sure that their structured data will automatically change uh, upon page information changing? Is using micro format the, the better way in this situation? Or is there a way to generate server side rendering JSON LD um, markup a dynamically querying on page elements? Let me know your thoughts or experiences. Thanks.
Well, your um, your Jason should be um, tied into the specific parts of the pages that you're marking up, and as those update, those elements update within the structured data. So if a review gets added, then that review uh, gets passed into that element and that gets updated. Um, I suppose if the price gets changed on page, that will reflect the new price change, will re reflect that element within the structured data. Um, I mean, nothing else really typically changes. If you update the description of the product, then that updated description will also really be reflected within the product itself. So, yeah, that, 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 that's how it updates with it. You shouldn't be creating the, the JSON and then putting it into a static block on a product page. Okay, thank, thank you, Tim. Okay, let's um, move on to the next question for in our run list is titled the rules on copying pages on your own website. Um, Liam Hurst said that we all know copying content from other people's websites is a big no, no. However, what are the rules on copying pages from your own website? I'm looking to create the same page on my site, uh, but it will be for a few different locations. Is this okay? Yeah, well, I mean, your location is going to be, you know, because the business is, is, is primarily exactly the same. So, you know, your basic introduction is going to be exactly the same. But there's many ways that that, that page is going to be completely different. The, the, the address, the address is going to be completely different. The uh, location, directions to the location will be completely different. The, the team members um, on there are going to be completely different. Some of the services may or may not be slightly different, depending on the location. You know, not all locations provide the same service. But, you know, in this case, let's assume they do. Um, your reviews, if you're, if you're, if you're putting the reviews, uh, displaying the reviews for that location on that page, those will be completely different. Um, so there's, there's a ton of ways of making it completely different. Um, uh, and yeah, so just, you know, you, only a small fraction of it's going to be uh, a copy and Google's pretty much, you know, that's not going to be an issue. They're not going to filter out location pages just because the, a portion of the copy is the same. Thank you, Tim. I see a nice answer there too from um, uh, Stephen McConville. Um, and, um, you know, I, I, the, I, I, I shouldn't go past mentioning uh, people like Michael Martinez, Michael Stricker, Dave Elliott, um, and those people that, um, and Brenda Mitchell in there. I, I, that, that, that people that, and oh, Todd Weiss. Um, people that add um, so much value to uh, the advice uh, that um, we um, hand out here. All right, uh, here's one from Rick Smith. It's titled Using SEO to Sell a Single Product Quickly. Good luck with that plan. Um, he said, how could I use SEO to sell a single product quickly? The product will, would be a reasonably high cost art piece well you're going to have to you're going to, have to pay for traffic not to seo seo is going to take you god knows how long and it's going to be very difficult to create a, a, a site for one product um so um google ads obviously um probably facebook ads um very carefully targeted at uh, these uh 
these wealthy people. Uh, I take it if it's uh, if it's a reasonably high cost art piece, we're looking at several thousand dollars, pounds, whatever. Um, so yes, um, you're going to have to pay for the traffic uh, one way or another. Um, you're going to have to have a very clear view of where uh, your likely customers are going to be and advertise there. I would even go so far as, and I hate to say it, but LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn, uh, I think some of the st stats, I think 33% of LinkedIn users, uh, that were 33% were freaking millionaires. I don't know where they got those stats from, but so if it's a high cost price piece, try there. How does that work if it's 30% of people in uh, LinkedIn with uh, being millionaires, if 80% of people are trying to sell me dodgy links? I know, I know, <laughs> I know. I know, but that was a recent stat I just uh, came across. Um, but you must remember their, their numbers are tiny. So, you know, and the other point is they don't say how engaged they are. You know, you could have CEOs on there. Yeah, sorry, um, it was just. <laughs> no, I know what you mean. <laughs> Dodgy shit. It's like, yeah, every day. Hey, d hey, you know, oh, it's horrendous. But yeah, I think he's, he's going to have to pay for this. This yeah. SEO is not going to do something for you uh, overnight. The only way, well, no, it's not even really SEO, but, you know, if you've got, I mean, why don't you get some well-read, highly, I don't know, art dude who's got a blog or a YouTube channel, pay him to come and write about it. Yep. All good thoughts. All right, let's um, go to the next um Chris Green uh, asked the question titled 301 redirect for out of stock products. Chris said, hey guys, for an e-commerce store, when products go out of stock, is it best practice to 301 redirect to the relevant category page or is it best to redirect to the next relevant product? I think I'd be inclined to just flag it as out of stock. Um, I wouldn't want to redirect unless they were coming back in stock. Exactly. I, that was what I was wondering. If you know, if it's gone, gone, and never going to come back, then that's a different matter. But if it's something's out of stock, you're waiting for stock to be delivered, then I'd keep the page as it is and say, well, currently out of stock. We're expecting to be on such and such day. Yeah, totally agree. All right, let's go to the next. Chris Lee this time uh, asked to uh, a question that's titled How to Rank in Neighboring Areas. Um, Chris said, Hi everyone, what are some recommendations on how to rank uh, in neighboring areas? We didn't have an answer for this on, on the community. What are recommendations how to rank in neighboring areas? So your business is in uh, one area and you want to target the next area. Well, content really. Um, so, you know, there's so many different kind of approaches that you would do depending on what you're doing. So let's say Let's say, um, yeah, I don't know, architects or something. Um, you could have particular <coughs> project pages <coughs> set up, uh, categorized by area, or well, you don't even have to, but uh, you know, it would be a bit more sense. But you know, essentially, that project within that area is going to be a, a, a title 
you know, is so it'll be uh, planning application in XYZ area um, approved. Uh, then it, you know, the page would uh, be uh, what was the planning for, what areas for, you know, you could even do little diagram locations exactly, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then it could be a three bedroom extension uh, in XYZ location. And then, you know, that planning application would then link to the actual build that they did on that particular location. Um, so all of this is going to be naturally one, it's going to include the service that you provide in XYZ location. Um, so it all depends, you know, if depends what the business is, it depends the approach you want to take. Um, so again, like, I don't know, landscape gardener or, a, you know, whatever service they may provide, it could be um, decking and garden replaced in xyz location and then it's you know you you know you make it a good a good thing so you're going to tell them what the scope of the project was what was used um you know costs any difficulty in that particular area or in that type of soil you know it's going to be so like someone landing on there that actually was searched for xyz decking and they were in that area and they saw it you know you, you're also selling it so it's not just like a gimmicky way. You're, you're, you're literally providing great stuff to them for them to make a pur purchasing decision on exactly what they were searching for. So, yeah, there's, you know, there's loads of different ways of, um, of approaching it, but that's generally going to be, be the way. Uh, let's just say, for example, you don't do a thing like that. Let's say you're... I don't know, taxi service. But the station is in the other location. Or um, or there's, uh, you know, the shopping centre is in the other location. So you can, you can you know, you, you can create a, a resource on site um, where, the, where the taxi ranks are around the area. Um, you could even go and create a map on site as a resource for people, uh, which they can find online also. Naturally, you're going to include yourself in it. Um, so it, it, it's all, it all depends on what the service or product or business is. It will dictate on the way you're going to approach it. Good one, Tim. Anybody else? Okay, uh, this is uh, I think number eight on our run list. It's from Neil Cheeseman. It's titled "How to Prevent Google from Crawling My um, um, RSS." I can't remember what that is. Um, something style sheets. Um, anyway, he said, "I, I see in um, Google Search Console the crawled, not indexed." Includes slash feed slash at the end of several hundred uh, URLs. This doesn't seem like good practice. How can the slash feed slash not be crawled uh, in a WordPress site? Um, I'm this is RSS, a really simple syndication amongst other. Um, uh, other ways of, of expressing it. That's what I say anyway. Um, so it's a way that, that people can read the site um, with a, an RSS reader. Um, so I think Google knows that RSS is not something that should pop up on, uh, on SERPs. So um, in Google Search Console, uh, they have been crawled. Uh, but they haven't been indexed because um, there's no point in indexing them um, because Google doesn't want to put them on SERPs. So um, I wouldn't worry. Um, it's not. Um, it, it's not. It's not an error as such. Um, 
some people say that RSS is good for Google understanding what's on your site. I'm less sure about that because uh, there's uh, there are uh, site maps uh, and there's just good old content as well for Google to figure out. So um, I I just think that that this is um, Google ignoring the the RSS feeds, and I've never. Uh, worried about such errors myself because I don't think it's uh, it, it's something to worry about. Thank you, David. All right, uh, let's um, move on now, and we'll move on to uh, number nine in our run list. Um, it's from another one from Chris Greener. It's uh, titled "Paid Google My Business Ads Versus Organic." results uh, Chris said hi guys uh, is this possible we have a paid Google my business ad and the first organic that's good and can we uh, also have organic Google my business showing as well from what I see from the example below and others if you have paid Google my business you cannot also have an organic uh, Google my business No, that's incorrect. Uh, you can even have uh, a Google ad showing above the local. You can have the ad in the local pack, then the local business, and then you can still be like position one or two organic. Now, um, just because you're advertising and it doesn't mean they take away your organic slot. Well, look, look at the map there, Timmy. Looks like he's an Australian. We won't hold yeah. back. Tim. Do you want me to commiserate now, or <laughs> do you know? Ah, uh, dear. All right. Yeah, and 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 the, the irony is, yeah. Look, yeah. No, actually, looking at that, he is Australian. Look, sports injury, sports injury. Yeah, it must be Australia. They tend to fall over and hurt themselves a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I'm not the one that... Um, um, <laughs> no, no, I won't say. I don't do. Sorry, what were you trying to say? What were you going to say about the world champions? What, what was that? What was that? Um, world, world champions? Yeah, nothing. I believe you people fell at the first freaking hurdle. <laughs> Yeah, you might want to see a sports injury center. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, look, uh, when I press this button, I, I've got a feeling that um, it is it is that time again. It's thank you for watching time. We've done it again. Answered uh, or reviewed all of the questions uh, um, dealt with on, on the... Uh, Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. We'll be back uh, at the, the same time next week uh, to do this all again. But before I go, uh, or we go, um, we should uh, thank um, the, the people who answer questions through the week and especially thank our panellists uh, tonight, Tim Kappa, uh, David Rosam, Masataki Wasa, and uh, Micah fisher -Kirshner. Um Thank you, one and all. And uh, we'll be gone as soon as I figure out how to stop this button. <laughs>